We're not disagreeing much over here. Judaism is not militaristic. The reason why, you're right also, there, there are militaristic Jews now in Israel, and they, they tie their militarism to their religion. But the reason is because they, their religion is not only Judaism. They, they tied to their Judaism, they mixed into their Judaism a very strong dose of nationalism. It used to be before Rabbi Cook that if you wanted to be Jewish, you were Jewish, you were nationalist, you were nationalist. Now you could be both, like you could be Jewish and being a Met fan also. Rabbi Cook did a very non-Jewish thing. He took nationalist philosophy and he said, that's Judaism. He disguised it in a Kabbalistic thing, but there are, there, there are things in Rabbi Cook's writings that you could point to. This is exactly word for word, almost to the point of plagiarism, from nationalist secular philosophy. He said, this is Judaism. Listen, Christianity is based on Judaism too. At the beginning, they said, that's Judaism. So now you come to me and say, well, Judaism is Christian. No, it's a different religion. They took nationalism and they said that nationalism, they put a yarmulke on it, fed it some chicken soup and said, national, if the more nationalist you are, the more Jewish you are. Now, do you know what nationalism did to socialism? It created okay. a bad mixture. Yeah. Nationalism, does, nationalism does the same to religion, the same to Judaism. It's a very bad combination. And that's what they, they, they call themselves the national religious. It's a combination yeah. of nationalism and religion. It's not just religion. Judaism in its organic, original, correct form, the historical form that always, before these Zionist innovations, was a religion. Even non-religious Jews, if you have a, a Jewish mother, you're Jewish, but the reason is because your soul was there on Mount Sinai when God gave the Torah. We will move.